Well, hello and welcome to Gemadism Total Notary channel. Today I will show you how you can fix uh, if you have the error that your hard drive or uh, uh, solid state disk is running at 100% all the time. Uh, so basically, um, some people even get it running like 100% all the time. Some people may have it running at like 95%. But even if it's like running at 20%, it's too much um, when you don't do anything. When your computer is in idle state, you should not have a disk activity above around 10% for most systems. And of course, if you have a lot of weird applications that run in the background that you have installed, maybe you should consider first cleaning your applications and background applications that are running all the time. But in any case, if you have a few minutes after startup when your computer is idle, your hard drive disk shouldn't be using so much percentage. And well, I will present a little mashup of fixes here that you can do. So, one thing that may be blocking or may be using a lot of your hard drive is actually Windows Search. And uh, you can turn off this Windows Search service and you will still be able to search um, like before, but it will be slower than if you have this on. Uh, but if it saves, you know, your hard drive disk from running all the time, uh, you will get rid of the stuttering and the freezes that you might appear uh, that you might uh, suffer from right now. So how to do this? Well, you click Windows R and then you write in services msc click run then you go in here click w so you go down to the w section and then you just click arrow down till you see windows search double click on that and it's probably set to automatic on your system now set it to disabled click apply and ok you'll need to restart your computer for this to take effect the second thing you can try is that perhaps you have set your uh, page sys file, it's called, uh, it's basically virtual RAM and uh, it's, it may be good if you have too little RAM but in certain cases when you set this to high you may get, uh, you may get performance issues with memory management. So then you can revert this back to normal. So if anyone has kind of mixed with this thing, this might be the issue and it can be worth a try. So what you do is you click control, uh, no, Windows key X, I mean Windows key X, then you get to control panel. In control panel, you go to the search panel and you write in performance and then you just select uh, adjust the uh, appearance and performance of Windows. Just click that there and you go directly to this menu here. Then you click advanced and then you see here virtual memory, click change. And what you do here is you click automatically manage paging file for Windows because you see here I set it to custom size 16 gigabytes and um, if this is what's causing the issues, it's worth a try. Sometimes you won't like a set virtual RAM, but uh, it can cause um, issues like this with a hard drive read and write. So you can, you know, change it to automatically manage page files. So that the systems will basically set the size it needs to be. So it's not too large, not too small, and um, it will be fine in most cases. Uh, it's definitely worth a try. And there you go, you need to restart your computer for this to take effect. If this doesn't work, then look at the following two uh, fixes. Uh, that is a little bit more heavy fixes, but uh, it's definitely worth a try because these issues are just unsufferable. Today we will look at how to disable or stop Superfetch in order to face, fix um, system and compressed memory high disk usage. Now Superfetch decreases boot time and make programs load faster by identifying your 
um, behavior on the computer and then adapting the computer to run certain apps faster uh, to have them in preparation, to have them prepared to launch faster. Which for most people um, is a good thing and it makes your computer uh, feel like it's faster and runs smoother because it already anticipates what you will do. In any case, for a few people this causes problems and we'll, we'll show how to turn it off. Click the Windows key and R and then you'll get this little uh, this little window here. Then you write in services.msc and then you run services.msc. Alright, now you can mark something here, whatever, click S and you will be getting down to S. Here you, here you find Superfetch. Now, right click on Superfetch click properties then we click stop now windows has stopped superfetch this is only one time though so you need to go to startup type and select disabled now you click apply and superfetch will no longer run when you start up your computer all right then you just click OK and you can see that Superfetch is disabled. So what you need to do now is just restart your computer and uh, your computer should hopefully be faster and uh, you know take less high disk usage from the system and compressed memory. In any case um, if you notice that stuff goes slower, which it might, but uh, it didn't fix your issues, well in that case, you can go back and enable it. Just reverse engineer this little tutorial. Now you may have noticed that the process system and compressed memory, which you can see right there, is taking up quite a bit of disk space. Uh, it's using the disk, it's not using the space, but it's using the write and read, read and write capacity. Uh, of the disk and it also uses uh, sometimes a good bit of memory or even uh, too much bit of the processor which can be kind of annoying. Well uh, for most people this process is uh, useful and good but unfortunately for some of us with Windows 8 or later systems like my Windows 10 computer get this error where system and compressed memory just takes too much of the disk making other programs and games stutter which is very annoying fortunately you can turn this off in any case system and compressed memory is a process that is in charge of compression of files and folders and management of RAM um, while it's uh, better to have it on you can turn it off you don't have to have it when it uses like for in my case too much of the disk sometimes it uses like 50 percent of my uh, hard drives read and write capacity and my hard drive is pretty fast so of course i can't have that and you can turn it off and uh, um, if you have this problem this will get you better performance so uh, i mean it's better than to not turn it off but of course it has a purpose. In any case, to turn this off we need to go to uh, click on Windows key and then X key uh, and then we'll get the control panel. Now you can just search for the control panel if you want to, it's fine. And then you go to administrative tools. Also if you see something like this um, you can just change it to large icons or something and then administrative tools. Here you can find task scheduler, start task scheduler. Here we see task scheduler library right here. Expand this, expand Microsoft, expand Windows. Then you need to go down in the rabbit hole. Not that far, we go here. Here we see memory diagnostic, which is the one we want to. 
and uh, this doesn't have any other menus now you get here to this one uh, now we can expand this and we'll see it has two different values here or we have two different uh, tasks here and uh, the one called run full memory diagnostic or run full memory diagnostic entry uh, you can go down here to the right and then you can click disable all right now we did get an error there but if you mark this again we can see we can enable it and we can enable it so that means it uh, is now disabled and now you need to restart your computer and when you start your computer again this service should not be running and you should be able to see that system and compressed memory does not take so much uh, space or uh, so much capacity of your system especially hard drive processor and RAM. Oh well, I hope that any of these fixes have helped you with uh, this issue and that your disk is no longer running at 100% uh, all the time and that you now can use your computer as normal. In any case, if this video helped you, please like the video and also subscribe. If you want to check my other tech tutorials, you can check the playlist in cards or down in the description. In the description, there are also links to how to support me if you so would want to do that. In any case, thanks for watching. This is Jimadism Total Nerdery Channel, signing out.